Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to show you practically how to automate another test case in the register account functionality that is the test case number 008. So let's see what exactly this test case is and let's understand it and then start automating it. Fine. So let's begin. So the test case number 008 under register account functionality as part of this test case, we need to verify registering an account by entering different passwords. While creating an account, we have to enter different passwords into the password and confirm password fields. Okay. So if you go to this particular application, guys, if you go to this particular application, and if you go to the, if you select my account and select register option and you go to the register account page, and if you enter all the details, let's say you have entered all the details, proper details you have entered, that's okay. Okay. After you enter all the details here, okay, some proper details, but here into the password and this also you will select, okay, all the fields you select, that's okay. And into the password and password confirm fields, here into the password field, I gave one, two, three, four, five as a password. Into the password confirm field, I gave one, two, three, four, five, six as a password. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, which are different. And click on continue. When you click on the continue, you see password confirmation does not match. Message should come. Okay, that's what is the test case all about, guys. We have to open the application URL in the browser. Then we have to click on the My Account drop menu. Then we have to select the register option. We have to enter all the brand new account details into all the fields. That is first name, last name, email, telephone, newsletter, and privacy policy fields and all those stuff. And then we need to enter a password, say one, two, three, four, five into the password field. Enter any different passwords, say. It can be a different password. It can be uh, 67890 or it can be ABCD into the password confirm field, which both are different. Then we have, once we click on the continue button there, Okay, as per the expected results, we have to verify account should not be created instead of warning message. Okay, simple thing is that we, uh, this warning message should be displayed saying that password confirmation does not match. Password should be displayed under the password confirm field. Okay, under the password confirm field, we should get this particular warning message coming. So this is what we need to automate guys. As part of automating this, what I will do is I'll, okay, I'll simply open Eclipse ID and create a new class here new class i'll just name this class as test case underscore uh, register functionality underscore 008 and uh, click on finish and here i'll simply write on public void public void verify register registering account verify registering account by by providing by providing mismatching passwords by providing mismatching passwords here i'll write at the rate test hold the mouse on this import this okay i'll write down the code here now web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver control shift o then i have to write driver dot manage dot window dot maximize then driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicitly wait then duration dot of seconds, duration dot of seconds, then give three seconds here. Then I'll say driver dot get here, provide the application page URL. This is application page URL guys. Once you provide this application page URL, then you have to click on the my account then. Okay. Then what is the next thing? I need to select the register option. Inspect this my account radio, uh, my account drop menu, inspect this my account drop menu and create an XPath expression to locate this my account drop menu. Control F, double slash span, text is equal to, oh, sorry, has not come. So let me inspect it again, right click, inspect this. You see, copy this particular text, copy this particular text and create an XPath expression, double slash span, then text function in XPath expression is equal to my account. So this will locate the my account drop menu. Copy this XPath expression, copy this XPath expression, and write down driver dot find element by dot XPath. By dot xpath provide the xpath expression here and say dot click. Once I click on the my account drop menu, then I need to select the register option. Inspect this register option. Select this register option, which is a link text case. Okay. Then write down driver dot find element by dot by dot link text. Provide the link text locator and simply say dot click. Dot click guys. Then say dot click. And after selecting dot click, the register option will be selected and you will be taken to the register account page. 
So now let's enter some details into this uh, fields. Okay. That is into the first name field. Let's inspect the first name field here. And this HTML code, copy this ID of uh, ID locator. Uh, okay. And simply write down driver dot find element by dot ID, provide the ID locator and say dot send keys dot send keys, provide the send keys. That is, let's say around here. Some brand new details I'm going to provide after entering around here. I want to enter the last name. Inspect this last name field here also. ID is there. ID locator is there. Driver dot find element by dot ID. Provide the ID locator for the last name field. And then say dot send keys. Okay. Put a semicolon. And then type my last name motor here. After entering the last name here, then inspect this email field. Copy this, write down driver dot find element by dot by dot id provide the id locator of the email field. Put a dot send keys and here type some email address which is brand new. How can an email address be brand new every time? When you run the script for the first time, this the email may be brand new. But if you run the same script for the second time, the same email address may not be brand new. It will become du duplicate email address for which account or is already created for. Okay. So how to uh, create or generate a brand new email address for that to happen? I'm going to create one more method public void generate generate brand new email generate brand new email and here write down date date is equal to new date after creating an object for the date class hold the mouse on this and import this date from java dot detail package and simply say date dot to string okay string date string is equal to and after that convert this date string convert this date string say uh, so if you print uh, if you print this uh, date string right the date with timestamp will be printed in the string format but uh, in the printed timestamp in the output console we are going to get some spaces to remove the spaces i have to say object difference of the string class dot replace all method i'll use dot replace all method i'll use and here i'll write down double quotes and double backward slash yes okay and then empty empty the string the next one date string dot replace all double backward slash s and uh, wherever the spaces come it will be replaced with empty string in the timestamp okay so here the return type will be string date string without without spaces date string without spaces i'll say and here write down <coughs> date string without spaces dot date string without spaces dot replace all <coughs> dot replace all and here say double backward slash colon symbol and here write uh, empty strings okay so here in the timestamp we we not only have the spaces in between the text but also we have this colon symbol but an email address name or the entire email address cannot have spaces or this colon symbols so we have after replacing the spaces you also have to replace as a colon symbols uh, this will return you the string. This will return you the string. String, date string without spaces and columns is equal to, okay? Now, after after this, copy this part and append this timestamp which doesn't have spaces or columns. Append that with at the rate gmail.com. At the rate gmail.com. Append that with at the rate gmail.com. Here, string, email, okay? brand new email brand say brand new brand new email brand new email is equal to like this you write okay and return that return this brand new email okay return this brand new email and here change the return type to string so whoever calls this particular method right a brand new email address in the string format will be returned by this particular method so i'll copy this uh, method calling statement and provide it here in the send case command so that when send case command will call this uh, generate brand new email, right? This particular method will be called and it will return you a brand new email with a timestamp so that it will be always brand new. Okay. After that, the next step here is here some brand new email address will be entered just for sample. I'll just enter something here. Okay. Just for sample, I'll enter something here. Okay. That's okay. And here in the telephone field, I need to enter the telephone number. Copy this telephone field and simply write down driver dot find element driver dot find element by dot id provide the id locator of the telephone field 
and say dot send keys give uh, give the telephone number guys give the telephone number that is this is the telephone number guys give the telephone number here in the send keys you have to give the telephone number after giving the telephone number guys after giving the telephone number inspect this password inspect this password and here id copy this id and simply write down driver dot find element by dot id by dot id locator of the password field inspect this okay id locator of the password field you have to give here and say dot send keys dot send keys and give the password as one two three four five as a password let's say okay here into the password field one two three four five will be entered and there is password confirm field also there is a password confirm field also in this password confirm field i need to give a different password okay which doesn't match with the password that i have entered into the password field and here is id of the password confirm field copy this id and write down driver dot find element by dot id provide the id locator of the password confirm field okay provide the id locator of the password confirm field here and uh, sorry double quotes and in between the double quotes i have to provide the password confirm field dot send keys and here write down a b c d e okay put a semicolon here and uh, i need to type a b c d e into the password confirm field then i need to select this newsletter option inspect this newsletter option so here copy this uh, control f double slash input uh, at the rate the name is equal to newsletter at the rate value is equal to value is equal to one like this you write down value is equal to one and uh, once you create this xpath expression the radio button will be highlighted copy this xpath expression guys and uh, paste it here simply write down driver dot find element by dot by dot xpath provide the xpath expression of the s radio button and simply say dot click once I say click guys, uh, it will select the S radio button here. It will select the S radio button here. And after the S radio button got selected, I need to select the privacy policy field. Inspect this privacy policy field. And here name agree is there. Okay. I'll use a name locator here. I'll simply say driver dot find element, driver dot find element by dot name locator. Provide the name locator here. Okay. And simply say dot click here. The name locator will be selected. And I need to click on the continue button. Inspect this continue button. Uh, inspect this continue. And uh, here continue button is there. Double slash input at the rate value is equal to continue. Double slash input at the rate value is equal to continue. So here account should not be created guys. Okay. When I click on this continue button, the account should not be created because into the password field, I gave one, two, three, four, five into the password confirm field. I gave A, B, C, D, which, which are two different passwords. If passwords match only the account should get created. Otherwise we should get a warning message here. So I'll give here to click on the continue button. I'll write down driver dot find element by dot x path. Give the x path expression and simply say dot click. Okay, simply say dot click. The continue button will be clicked and uh, you will get this warning message. Okay, we need to verify whether we are getting this particular warning message as per the expected results. The client, as per the client, uh, you know, this particular message should be displayed. Password confirmation does not match password should be displayed. Okay. Password confirmation does not match password. This warning message should be displayed. So this is expected warning message from the desk case I'm taking. String expected warning message is equal to give that text and here write down the assertion assert dot assert uh, assert dot test ng assertions I have to write assert dot assert equals okay assert dot assert equals just take one thing and here expected warning message you pasted here. And here actual warning message, how to get the actual warning message, select this actual warning message and select inspect option. And this is a, this is a tag name. Okay. This is a tag and we need to create a, a proper XPath expression to locate this actual warning message. You see, uh, this due tag in between the due tag, we are getting this warning message. And before that there is an input, it doesn't have a proper locator type here, but here ID is there for the previous element, uh, the previous sibling, sibling element, preceding sibling element that ID is there. Copy this ID and control F double slash input at the rate ID is equal to give that ID locator and say slash following hyphen sibling. This is what is XPath access guys. There is a due right due tag. Okay. For this, this is the following sibling. Okay. By writing this XPath expression, you see this uh, message will be located. Copy this XPath expression and come back here and write down um, driver dot find element by dot XPath provide the XPath expression of the provide the expert expression of that and say dot is sorry uh, dot uh, it's it's not elements guys it's element and simply say dot 
get text. Said what dot get text. It will retrieve the text between the new tag here, and uh, that text should match with expected warning text. Or uh, if it matches, the test will pass. Otherwise, the test will fail. Okay. Simply write down driver dot quit here to complete the creation of the automation script for this particular test case. Let's run this script and see whether the script is working fine or not. Okay. Run the script. If it passes, then everything is fine. So it will go to the register page and enter all the details and we should get a warning message and this should get passed. Okay. It should get passed. If you want to see practically before closing the browser, if you want to see whether the warning message has come visually, if you want to see just for temporary purpose, you can add this kind of steps case like, uh, uh, let's say three seconds. Okay. After three seconds, you close the browser. You mean to say this is from Java only. Just for demo purpose, I am, I can add the red dot sleep. If you really want to see what is happening on the automation script, you can add this afterwards. You can remove this. Okay. If you're able to see that you can remove later. Okay. I will run the script guys. Did I run the script? Is there a script running? No. Let me run the script again. This time it is running. Just see here guys, what is happening? Before closing the browser, it will pass for three seconds. You can see the warning message has been displayed after three seconds. It will close and the test got passed. Just for demo purpose, you can add this kind of thread dot slip. After the demo, you can remove this and, uh, you know, things are fine. Remove this part. Okay. Save this. So this is the automation code, guys. This is the automation code for automating the uh, another test case. Okay. This is automation code for automating another test case, guys. That is test case number 008. Verify registering an account by entering different passwords into the password and password confirm fields. Okay. Now right click on the project and uh, select properties and uh, select this option and go inside this folder. Control A, Control C. Okay. Uh, I'll upload the code into the GitHub repo. So for that to happen, uh, let me go to the local repos here and uh, yeah. Here I'll say control V. Once you say control V, this you don't have to worry. I'm just uploading the code so that you guys can access. Okay. I'm sharing the code with you. That's the reason I'm writing all these things. Okay. I'm doing all this stuff, but you don't have to learn all these things at this moment. Okay. T test case underscore register functionality underscore zero zero eight completed. So remaining all automation scripts of the previous test cases also will be uploaded guys. Okay. You'll have everything together and uh, simply say git push origin, git push origin main, press enter and type git here, github.com and uh, go to this uh, repository. Once you go to this repository, so refresh updated now live automation selenium Java projects. Okay. This one you take. Okay, this is the one. Is there anything other than this? Live, okay. Just now this one, okay. Okay, fine guys, okay. So here we have uploaded. So you can go to this location and you will find all the test cases, okay? That I have automated so far. This is a link, okay? So to get this link, what do you have to do? Just, uh, if you are new to this, just type Arun Motori space github you say after that just click on this link go to my go to select repositories here in the filter you type splive and then a lot of things will get filtered here only six repositories got filtered in that you select selenium java projects related live automation repository click on that and you and in that go to src test java and in that go to tutorials ninja register okay you will find all the click on the disk case you will find the code here okay you can either copy the code or download the code up to you so hope guys, in this session, you understood how to automate this test case. That is verify registering an account by entering different passwords into the password and confirm password or password confirm fields. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to automate the next test case. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.